In this video, we're going to look at uh, reflections. And a reflection is when you plot each image point so that it is the same distance from the line as its pre-image point. And so that is a reflection over a line. So the idea is if you have a line, and let's take an image. And if I were to reflect that over a line, then I w I'm literally just flipping it over that line. And so it's, if this were a piece of paper, it would be like I were folding it um, on the piece of paper on that line. So if we flip it this way, it would look like this. So let's do this first. So we can see them both. Uh, let's flip it back. So this was, is what a reflection over uh, this line would look like, um, where this point A goes to that line a certain distance, and it goes away from that line the same distance and becomes A primed. And this point B goes to that line a certain distance, and then it goes away from that line the same distance and gives me B prime. And then the point C goes to that line a certain distance away from the line that same distance and that would be C prime. And when we reflect, uh, we're going to have some common uh, rules for reflecting or common ways we reflect. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is reflect in the x-axis. Uh, so when we reflect in the x-axis, my transformation rule is going to be to change the sign on the y-coordinate. Kind of skipping ahead here, but that's the idea. So if I have the coordinate uh, a, b, and c, a is here, uh, B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. B is right here. And C is 0, negative 2. So C is here. If I want to reflect it over the x-axis, then I'm going to change the coordinates to all the, or the signs to all the y-coordinates. Or, you can do this by hand, you can just count. You can say, well, this is a distance of 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the x-axis. So I go 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is A prime. Let's get rid of that. Um, and then I can do the same thing with B. I can just count 1 and then another 1. And so that would be B prime. And then C, I can count up 1, 2, another up 1, 2, and so that would be C prime. Here, I'm trying to separate those and I'm not able to, so we'll just make that C prime there. And so my original shape looks like this, and then when I reflect it over the x-axis, it looks like this. So it's like I folded that graph on the x-axis. And so my transformation notation we already have. Uh, my coordinates uh, we need to list, so a prime. The coordinates are going to be the same, we just change the sign of y. So that would be 1, negative 4. b primed is 5, negative 1. And c primed is 0, 2. Okay, let's look at another one. And I try to do this on your own. Try to plot these points and reflect the figure in the y-axis. So uh, A would be here. Uh, B is 5, 1, 3, 4, 5, 1. And C is 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So C is right here. Let's move A around just a little bit so it's not in the middle there. And so this is what my shape looks like. And I want to reflect it across the y-axis. 
So A is just going to stay. If it's on the axis, it's going to stay on the axis, and that's going to become A primed. And then B, if I count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's going to give me B primed. And then for C, if I count over 1, 2, and then 1, 2, that will give me C prime. And so this will be my new shape. And I can get my counting out of there. So you can see it's just reflected or folded over that Y axis. And so my transformation rule, if you can see that for reflecting over the y-axis, is to change the sine of x. And so that gives me an a of 0, 3, an a primed, excuse me, a b primed of negative 5, 1, and a c primed of negative 2, 6. So we reflected over the x-axis and reflected over the y-axis. Uh, you can reflect over any line, uh, but we won't cover um, a lot of those right now. We will cover the special line of reflection over the line y is equal to x. Um, so this is the line where um, y is equal to x. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and so on and so forth. So it is this line here. This is the line y is equal to x. So we want to reflect over this line or fold over that line. Let's plot our points. Here's A. Um, B is negative 2, 2. And C is here. We want to reflect over. So we're going to fold it over this diagonal line. And so it's a little hard to uh, count, but it can be done. Um, instead, what I'm going to recommend is actually use the uh, transformation notation. So our rule for reflecting over the line y is equal to x is to just switch x and y. And this becomes important uh, for inverse functions, which you'll cover later in a different math class, more than likely. Uh, but so our rule is just to switch x and y. So a primed is 3, 0. And b primed is 2, negative 2. And c primed is 2, 1. And so we can plot these. a primed would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 0. b primed would be 2, 1. And then C prime would be, um, sorry, that's C prime, not B prime. Um, get a little crowded in here. So C prime is 2, 1. And then B prime is 2, negative 2. which would be here. And so I have my reflection that looks like so. And can see that that is folded over that diagonal line. You also notice that with reflections, the shape stays the same. It just changes its orientation. But all the angles are um, the same as the pre-image, and all the sides are the same as the pre-image as well. So we're not changing size, just orientation. Okay, and then the last reflection we'll look at is across the line y is equal to negative x. And so that's the same line, just the other direction. So let's plot these points. Uh, 0, 2 is A. Uh, 2, 3 is B. And then negative 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is C. 
So we're given this triangle and we want to reflect it over that line. Now you may be able to count. Um, you definitely uh, could give that a shot. Uh, it might be easier though to use the transformation rule. So my rule to reflect over the line y is equal to negative x is to switch the y, switch the x, and make them both negative. So let's let's start our coordinates using that. So if a becomes negative 2, 0, a prime, excuse me, b primed becomes negative 3, negative 2, and c primed becomes 5, 2, negative 5, 2. And so now we can plot these points. Uh, negative 2, 0 is here. So that's a primed. Uh, b primed is negative 3, negative 2. Well, that's b primed. And then c primed is negative 5, positive 2. This is c prime. And so the shape looks the same, just a different orientation. It's just folded along that line y is equal to negative x. So we want to describe these, and this is a great summary. Uh, make sure you have all these definitions down. These are all things you have to have memorized uh, in order to successfully do reflections. So if you just change x, then that's a reflection across the y-axis. So it's if you it's a diff it's the opposite of whatever you change. Um, if you switch x and y. That's a reflection across the line y is equal to x. Here we switched x and y and made them both negative. So that would be a reflection across y is equal to negative x. And then last, here y is negative, so that would be a reflection across um, the x-axis. So, so notice again, if you change the sign to x, you reflect over the y. If you change the sign to y, you reflect over the x. So once again, make sure you have these definitions memorized, and good luck on working with reflections.